What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. You recognize where we're at. We're back at AR headquarters in Byers, Oklahoma, man. We got a new car delivered today. I'm gonna have to stop, seriously, I gotta stop. Because I got way too many cars as it is and I just keep collecting them. I have always wanted a Ford Focus ST. Why I've never bought one, I have no idea. I just never got around to it. Well, I finally got around to buying one. This is one of the perks of selling off all my fancy cars, right? Selling off the Ram, uh, the brand new Ram, the brand new Tesla, and the 2018 Model 3 Performance. Selling off all of these cars saves me several thousands of dollars a month, which makes it possible for me to go out and just buy all the crap I've always wanted that I'd never been able to get my hands on or was just too lazy to. Now I can go out there and explore and buy these cars and, and enjoy them this one i think i got for a really good deal i got it for seven grand seven grand now there is a there's a couple stipulations to that or caveats we'll get into that in a minute so here she is a 2013 ford focus st i know i know randy if you like the st you really should get the rs well <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything just yet but stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned because that might be something I'm interested in doing in the future. Now, this car was $7,000, which makes it exceptionally cheap for one of these turbocharged little four banger cars that actually have pretty good horsepower and torque specs. This car came from Maryland, and that is one of the caveats. Maryland. Oh, goodness. The Rust Belt. I have no idea what's underneath it. We're gonna have to get it on the lift here in just a minute and find out for ourselves if it's a rust bucket or not. Next, it has 115,000 miles on the odometer. This was not a garage queen. She's got dings, there's dings, ding, ding. You know, it, there's curb rash over here. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's got aftermarket exhaust. I don't know what else aftermarket it has. And it, this is very interesting too. I'm gonna have to wait till the paperwork comes in, but it said online that it had a rebuilt title. The listing showed a rebuilt title. However, I saw the title online and the title didn't say anything about being rebuilt at all. It had a perfectly clean, unbranded title. So I have no idea what the deal is with that, but compared to the cost of a bunch of these other focuses in similar condition with similar mileage, this was the cheapest, absolutely. It's got brand new tires, as you can see right here. They're Hankook uh, Ventus something, Ventus S1 Noble twos okay brand new set of tires all the way around she's got some ding she's got some little dents here and there the paint overall looks good i don't know what the hell this is what a roof rack that i should take that off i don't i don't know I, maybe it adds to the sportiness of it it's really really dirty like this thing came from maryland it had a long way to go to get down here so she's pretty filthy let's take a look at the interior real quick see what it looks like smell Honestly, it doesn't smell bad. Okay, headliner's good. Oh, it's got a sunroof. I did. I was sitting here looking right at it. <laughs> didn't even realize it had a sunroof. Uh, honest to God, I have not driven this thing without you. Okay, I will admit that I came out here when I got here because I was so excited about it and I got in it and I smelled it and that stuff. So other than that though, it hasn't moved. I haven't driven it. It's got a full-size spare that's, that's flat. Yeah, Continental, con conti pro contact sure okay plenty of room back here this is <laughs> it's almost it's almost funny I've, I've got my hummer sitting over here that's getting 11 ish 11 11 5 miles a gallon then over here a boosted focus that i don't know what it gets 30s 28 30 miles a gallon but both of these are boosted this is turbocharged and that is whipple supercharged let's take a look at the front I have not popped the hood yet either, so that is something I'm doing with you guys. How's it look over here? It's a little, you know, she needs a little cleaning. Not too bad. You got the faded out ST badge. This thing's been, uh, I got a feeling it's been kind of road hard, put away wet maybe. I did check the Carfax and it seemed like it had a decent Carfax. Um, check engine light is on, but they showed that in the listing. 
they showed the check engine light on in the listing and I think it was for a small evap leak, which I'm not sure what that will turn out to actually be, um, but a small evap leak and an oxygen sensor that was stuck, I think on rich. I think that's what it said. I think it said the oxygen sensor was stuck in the rich position. So she'll obviously, is this one you pull twice or how does that work? Let's see, where's the, uh, where's the, there it is, right? Right over here. Let's take a peek under the hood. Okay, all right. Well, there she is. I don't know anything about these. I've never had one. I just kind of always wanted one. I don't even know what size the engine is. It's a 2.0 liter, 2.0, little turbocharged. I don't know the exact horsepower or specs on it either. It's definitely not an RS. I think an RS is over 300 horsepower. That's pretty impressive. This is probably like, I don't know, 200, maybe 220. It's full of coolant. Coolant looks good. It's a manual, so there won't be trans fluid. Let's take a peek at the oil. Oh, wow. Boy, that is, that is some nasty oil, guys. Uh, good night. That thing needs an oil change immediately. Immediately. So all of this black has been painted red. This is not fitting quite the way it should. This is supposed to come up and uh, fit on there. A little better uh, no big deal though okay looking at the uh, the fender aprons they look straight I don't see any problems there this core support slash header panel whatever you want to call this piece although someone did paint it red it's not broken all of the little tabs are here it's not cracked it looks good it looks good strut towers look good as well okay why are the parking lights on? Well, you know what we got to do? We got to take her for a drive, guys. I didn't do it without you. I wouldn't do it without you. You're my peeps, man. We're going to do this together. But first, before we start up and take it on a ride, let me, uh, let me get some of this crap off of it. I'm going to turn on the water hose real quick. Spray it down because I can't see anything out of this dirty windshield. Look at this. I can't see nothing, man nothing at all okay something was leaking all down the car i've got antifreeze literally leaking all down the front of this car does it leak anything there's a good question it does not there's nothing leaking under it i i really like cars that don't leak <laughs> that makes me really happy let's spray this off let's take her for a ride see how she drives all right so let's take her out for her maiden voyage new to me right it's obviously not new but she's uh she's new to me so let's take her out on the road see what she does it is push to start <laughs> boy that windshield is filthy wow that is gross that's that's real bad even even after washing it it's still really really bad Shifter seems all right. It's a it's a six-speed manual transmission. The clutch feels good. AC's already on. Nice and cold. The radio, however, uh-oh. The radio just sits there flashing. I don't know what that's about. I've got no sound. Nothing. The locks work. Turning this on and off does nothing for the radio. Hey, if you know what that may be about, just let me know in the comment section down below. All right, we can see out of the windshield somewhat. <laughs> Wipe it off just a little bit more. Hope we can get just a little bit better out of it than that. Let's see, oil pressure looks good. All the gauges up there look good. Temperature is nice and cold. That's the oil temperature. Uh, boost is at none. Coolant, oh hell, the coolant temperature is halfway. How did it warm up that quick? Okay, let's keep our eye on the temperature. That's... It's already fully warmed up. Well, alrighty then. That was uh, that was a little unexpected. Buckle up for safety. Let's turn down the air conditioning just a tad, so 
so you guys can hear everything. Let's see what we got going on up here. Distance to empty, trip odometer, 1,749 hours. Average fuel economy is 24.5. That's, uh, compared to the Hummer, that is really, really good. Trip one, trip two. What is all this? Okay, trip one, trip two, information, settings, and systems check. Let's see what systems check does. Engine oil, change due. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no kidding. Washer fluid, low. All right. I guess we'll just go back to uh, just go back to our trip counter here. It's an intuitive little car. The steering, the steering feels good. I'm gonna change the uh, angle here. There we go. Let's, let's bring this down about right there. That feels about right. We've got headlights, fog lights, auto headlights. Very nice. Check engine light, as I said earlier, is on, but it seems to be running well. Traction control off. You can turn that on and off. Sport mode, ooh. Okay. Let's put it in sport mode, just for the hell of it. All right, I think we're ready. What does this do? A 12 volt ad adapter right there. That's all that is. And back here, we've got a line input, USB, glove box. There's nothing in there at all. ST Racing Performance Parts. What about the important window, of course? I guess, why don't we just roll that down? Let's just roll that down, turn that off. How about that window? Yep, that window works. Very nice. And very nice. All right, what about the sunroof? Yeah. Yeah, it's wet, so let's just go. Let's go ahead and close that. All right, guys, I think we are ready. Uh, it's got reverse lockout, so you put your fingers here, lift up, over, and up. All right, are we ready? Let's adjust this mirror here and this one. All right, I think we're ready to go. Maiden Voyage is my first time driving. Ooh, that clutch is very nice. <laughs> very nice. That is not a soft. It, it's an easy clutch to push, but. It's got a, a, I don't know how to say it. The travel is not long. When you let off the clutch, man, she grabs almost immediately. Almost immediately she grabs. So it feels like it's got a clutch with a lot of life left in her. All right. Clean that windshield off one more time. Let's just give her a go. I've got no boost. I've got no boost. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> oh, it's a fun little car. Okay, so you really got it. You really got to let her rev, man. You got to let her rev to get to get some uh, boost going there. Oh man, it handles absolutely great. We're going 50 miles an hour right now. Speed limit 65. So why don't we uh, why don't we pick it up a hair? There's that. Whoa! <laughs> She's got a little torque steer. <laughs> We're doing 70. Oh man! All right. <laughs> I like this. Woo! <laughs> oh, she is fun. This is fun. <laughs> There's 80. Ooh, brake check, brake check. <laughs> oh, hell. Hell, this is great. This little sucker is phenomenal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I never thought I'd like a Focus this much. I didn't. I really didn't. Downshift. Let's downshift it again. Woo! Ho oh, oh. ho! There's 5,000 RPM. She's wanting to. Uh, she's wanting us to shift back, back up a little bit. Woo! Ho! Oh, 6,000. 65. Ho oh, oh. ho! 90. 100. Woo! <laughs> oh wow! Wow! <laughs> no compact car should be this much damn fun. I'm telling you, none. <laughs> 
no little tiny car should be this fun to drive. Oh man, look how straight that steering wheel is too. I mean, she's straight as an arrow. No funny noises or rattles or anything. Like, she just gets it, man. Now, okay, let's be completely honest. All right, it's not a it's not a fast car, right? It's 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 a quick car. It's definitely quick. She moves around just fine. In fact, I need to look up the horsepower, torque, and zero to sixty specs on this car. It is a quick car. She's a little go getter, man. Uh, she's not fast. This isn't something you're gonna get get in and be like, oh my god, this is Huracan power, right? No, 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 no. It's not. It's a Ford. It's a Ford Focus. But it's a lot of fun. Turbo lag is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. My Chevy Cruze had a 1.8 turbo and the turbo lag was it, was, it was pretty bad, guys. The turbo lag was pretty bad on that car. This is not like that. You definitely gotta get her into the RPMs a little bit. But once you do, man, that boost kicks in. She's a ripper. She is a little ripper. Let's give her, see what I mean? Give her the beans, man. And, and that boost gauge comes right to life. She's ready to go. <laughs> oh, man. I might leave my Hummer down here and drive this home. I really might. The best thing I think about this car is that it's an older used car with some miles on her, right? She's got a few dings and scrapes and bumps and bruises. So while normally that would not be my thing i would not want that i want a car that looks almost perfect lately i've been realizing as you start getting into these cars that have their share of bumps and bruises and stuff not like wrecked or smashed but what would you call it like uh they've got character they got some character to them when you start getting into these cars with character well Suddenly, you know, if you were to, oops, I bumped into it or I scraped it just a hair or or somebody door ding me, you're not going to sit there and be like, hey, I can't believe my new car, $60,000. It's not like that anymore. It's not like that. It's not that you don't care about your car. It's just that it's not that big of a deal. And I'm telling you, this is a, a heck of a little ripper, man. How much I paid? Seven grand? Seven grand. Now... I, like I said, I had to ship it from Maryland, okay, which which was low beam fault. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's turn on the fog lights, too. Are the fog lights on? I don't know. Um, shipping it was pretty expensive, honestly. It's a little more expensive than I expected it to be. Um, low beam fault again. Okay, anyway, let's go outside. You know, shipping it added quite a bit to the price of the car. This thing ended up being nine grand out the door because it had to travel something like 1,600 miles and it took 10 days to get it here. Put that window down. Make, <laughs> make sure she's not smoking or uh-oh. Um, hold on, guys. We got no lights. <laughs> that wasn't listed. I probably turned the headlights into the, the wrong spot. Let's see. Yeah, that's auto headlights. There we go. There's fog lights and headlights. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we got? We do, we do, it wasn't lying. We have a low beam fault. The driver's side headlight seems to be uh, dead as a doornail there. No biggie. Let's check the tail lights. Yep, we got tail lights. What about, yeah, we got a LED light there for the uh, license plate. Magnaflow performance exhaust. It does have a Magnaflow muffler, but I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I can't hear it. I, I, I can't hear it. It doesn't sound like it's got an exhaust at all, but it does have a Magnaflow muffler. This is a great car because it's just, it's so damn cheap that you could do a few mods to it. You know, put a little exhaust on it, maybe an aftermarket intake or something. Have a little fun with it. Let's turn those off. You can have a little fun with this car. You can afford to play with it a little bit because there's so much money left on the table. I'd definitely like to get that fixed. I don't know what the hell's going on there. I probably need to just pull this off and maybe just replace the radio. Let's see if uh, if we get it on the road here without some traffic. Maybe we can uh, light it up a little bit. Smoke them front tires just a tad. What do you say? All right, just for the hell of it, let's just see if we can light them up. Whoa, 
torque steer. Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! Oh man! Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good lord, have mercy. Let me roll that window up. Sorry, guys. Hopefully that noise wasn't bothering you too much. I forgot. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. I didn't lay into it too hard, okay? I know it definitely needs an oil change and stuff. It, look, look at this steering wheel, though, man. Let me let me get myself centered on the road. This is a really bumpy and, and kind of road. Get myself centered here. She holds the road just fine. She really does. It's not pulling to either side. It sounds good. It really does. Okay, I guess the next thing we really need to do, we need to get it on the lift. Um, I'm very curious to see what's going on underneath it um, as far as rust is concerned. Now, I did pull the Carfax, and the Carfax shows that it just got two front control arms. Yeah, two control arms were just done on it. So, we'll, uh, we'll get it up on the lift throw some light under it and let's see how good or how bad it is i am a little nervous considering this car came all the way from maryland but uh, i think we're going to be all right guys i do and we got it again so cheap it's just hard to go wrong with a car like this that's that cheap i got this and the hummer both from acv auctions it's a dealer only auction and so far the cars have been exactly as described the shipping has been exactly when they said they were going to get here for exactly the price they said it was going to cost i've been very satisfied with the whole process so far let's get back to the shop let's take a closer look at her all right let's see if we can get in here without dropping this thing off the dadgum lift Sketchy. Right there should be good. I know it's dark. Forgive me. All right. We also got to run a diagnostic on this thing just to double check the... Uh, I'm going to put it in reverse while we're at it. E-brake, reverse. Oh, crap. I'm hanging off the lift. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> I missed the, oh, wow. Um, I missed the mark bad on this one, guys. This thing's about to fall off. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay, hi, Roxy. Oh, you got a bandana? Well, aren't you pretty? Um, I don't want to try to back this up, but I don't have much of a choice. This thing might fall off, guys. This, it really might. This might fall off. Whew. Let's see where we're at. Not even close. Not even close. Easy girl, easy girl, easy girl. Oh, we made it. We made it. Whew. Not gonna lie, that was a little sketch. Let's get her over just a tad bit. Let's check this out now. We're still, we're still kind of off. But that's better, I think. I think I think we're okay there. <laughs> okay, let's shut her down. Yeah, we're on we're on the lift now. <laughs> that's better. That's better. I'm used to pulling these big old boats in here, man. So yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? 
<sighs> that car right there, would you look at that? Yeah, we got some work to do to that. In fact, I'm gonna be probably wrenching on this bad boy today as well. Um, lots of stuff going on for this, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Let me get this thing up in the air, close this garage. Oh, my air conditioners are on. It feels so good in here. Let's take a look underneath and let's see how good or how bad 115,000 mile car that's almost 10 years old is all the way from Maryland. All right, well, you guys ready to climb under here and take a peek? Let's have a look-see. We're gonna start kinda, let's start right about here. I wanna make sure you guys can see everything. We're gonna start from this resonator right here, which if we, got a, if we were to get a catback exhaust, we could bypass all of this. I think this thing would sound mean as hell with a catback exhaust. Also, could use a new set of wheels. They look kind of dated on it. This could be fun. This could be fun, but you guys have got to be interested in it. Eh, those bolts. Whoo. <laughs> those are those are most likely going to snap, but that's okay. There's the massive catalytic converter up there. I'd almost be tempted to have that thing removed too. Peeking up in here a little bit, do we see any... Uh, you see any major leaks? You see anything going on there? Not really, can't really see anything. There's a little bit of seepage that I can see in there on the transmit, but nothing like, nothing actively leaking at all. As you can see, everything up here is completely dry. Looking up here, okay, let's take a closer look. Let me see if I can get you, get you some better light here. All right, control arms, yep, control arms are new. They look better than everything else on the car. Axles look good. Sway bar bushings are not ripped or anything. Uh, tie rod end on this side looks all right. Front struts, they don't look to be leaking either. They're dry as a bone, a little rusty. You got a little bit of, of rust on here, a little bit of corrosion going on. Not heavy though. Looks like it's all surface rust. This one over here is not a new control arm. <laughs> All right, that one is still rusty. So this control arm has been replaced. You see how clean and, and, and nice and black painted that is. This one over here, not so much. Everything over here looks pretty good though. And I can tell you this, it handles absolutely great. It does, it, it stops perfectly straight. It drives straight as an arrow. Uh, I don't feel like there's any suspension problems. Handles bumps and everything with absolute ease, no problem at all. Exhaust again, you know, a little rusty here and there, but not too bad. Underbelly of the car, the pinch welds. Honestly, it, it looks really good. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised this car is born and raised in Massachusetts. Ma 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 Massachusetts, Maryland. Sorry, in Maryland. You can see there's some definite rust going on there, but like the bolts to get the hubs and everything off, they don't look bad at all. They really don't. Everything under here actually looks really good. I love this adjustable rear suspension as well. Yeah, guys, I think I got a good deal on this. I don't know. Some of you are gonna say I paid too much. That's fine. I get that a lot. You paid too much, you'll never recoup your money. That's okay. That's okay. It's not always about flipping the car to make money for me, guys. Sometimes I just buy them because I wanna have fun with them. I wanna play with them. I wanna have something that I've never had before. And that's what this is. Oh, that's also what that is as well. I don't know, man. I'm thinking good deal. That's what I'm thinking. Good deal all day long on a nice running, I, I wanna say low mileage. Is it really low mileage though? A 2013 with 115,000 miles. It, it's kind of low miles. It's not high mileage, right? I think we got a good deal on it even after shipping for nine grand out the door, this is still gonna be one of the cheapest STs that you're gonna find. Okay, now that we've seen the underside of it, I say let's drop her down, let's throw a code reader on it, and let's try to figure out why that check engine light is on. All right, let's jump over here to the Altel Maxi Sys Elite, and let's take a look. One of the first things I noticed is we have battery voltage. Then we have invalid data received from the electronic control module. And then we have a left rear wheel speed sensor. I believe this is the body control module, or maybe that was the ABS module. That was the ABS module. Body control module has three codes. We'll jump into this real quick. Anytime I see any codes related to low voltage, um, I always clear all the codes in this case, I'm going to disconnect the battery as well, and then we will come back 
ensure that the ignition is on. Yeah, the ignition is on. Um, huh. Yes. Oh, it turned itself off? Or was that the computer? Uh-oh. Hold on. We'll, we'll be back when I figure this out. Oh, there it is. There it is. Left low beam, left low beam, ignition on relay. Okay, I think she, I think she's turned herself off is what she's done now. That figures. Anyway, there it is. Yeah, we left her on for too long. She shut herself off. So hopefully, uh, hopefully she comes back to us here. Powertrain control module. I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in here, but we are going to just, we're just gonna reset this whole thing. This took a minute the last time. So let me just pause the video. We'll come right back when it's up and ready. All right, here we go. Let me see how close I can get y'all in. I know it's gonna be hard for you to see, but we a couple of these codes are duplicates. We have an EVAP system leak, very small, and an EVAP system leak, very small. So these two, are the same, this one is pending. These two are the memory, so probably historical, engine sound control A circuit performance, uh, oxygen sensor signal biased, stuck rich, bank one, sensor one, and then fan one control circuit. So again, what I'm gonna do on this, when I see any codes relating to the battery. We're just gonna go ahead and reset those. So we're gonna do a quick erase. We're gonna wipe out everything. As soon as all of the codes are come back completely clear, I'm gonna go over there, we're gonna disconnect the battery. And at that point, we're gonna let it, sh we're gonna leave it off for a little while. We're gonna come back, turn it back on, and hopefully some things start working. As you can see, we have no more faults. So I'm gonna reach in here and turn off the ignition. She's now off, we'll go ahead and turn this screen off. Go over here to the battery, which hides under this little cover right here. I'm gonna disconnect this, probably, I don't know, a, a 10 mil, eight or 10 millimeter. Disconnect this, I'm gonna leave it off for a while. We'll come back and we'll see if maybe magically some things start working like the radio. All right, we're back. The battery is reconnected. I have not attempted to start it yet. In fact, I don't even know if I have, I do have the, nope, those are the wrong keys. Hold on, uh-oh, I lost. I lost the keys? No way. Uh, I did. I did. I lost the keys. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> this isn't good. I really did. I really did. I lost the keys. Okay. Give me a minute and we'll come back if I find the keys to the car. Well, that was easy enough. They were in the dadgum seat. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and start it now, and we're gonna see if that check engine light comes right back on, and it, it might. That shifter actually feels a little sloppy. Yeah, it feels a little, little on the loose side, may need to check the bushings. Okay, here we go. Uh, I was sure hoping that was gonna come back to life. Nope, it sure ain't, is it? Darn. Okay, well, I guess we can safely say that the radio is DOA. Currently, we have no check engine light. Windshield washer fluid low. We'll take care of that. I'm actually tempted, guys. I'm really, really tempted. Since uh, we've already got the car on the lift, I don't have a filter for it, and it's already way too late to go get one. That oil just looks so bad. I'm tempted just to drain that old crap out of it and put some fresh oil in it. I feel like even though it's not a full on oil change, it's better than what it's got in it right now. She really does sound healthy though. Wait to see that check engine light come back on. That small EVAP leak, it makes me wonder, could it be the, uh, the evap canister could it be like the purge valve or something or what i also wonder is this has one of those uh gas caps gas cap lists i should say right here um and it does make me kind of wonder sometimes sometimes there's a little gasket in there and over time it just wears out it does kind of have me wondering if maybe just maybe that could be leaking can hear the exhaust it's super quiet 
not impressive at all for an, for an aftermarket exhaust in my opinion. All right, well, she sounds good. I was really hoping that this screen was gonna come back to life. I guess I'm gonna have to start looking around on eBay for a, uh, for a replacement for this. What do you guys think? Should we throw it up on the lift and, uh, or get it up in the air, I should say, and change the oil? I feel like we should. I don't even know if I have, I don't even know what it calls for. Probably like 520 or something. I guarantee I don't have any of that. I do have some 1030 and I've got some transmission fluid. Oh, that doesn't help. We got some 530. Is that a hole? Nope, it's not. That's almost empty. I got a little bit of 530. ATF, Mercon, 1030. I got lots of transmission fluid, guys. I got lots of fluids around here. Um, brake fluid, antifreeze, trans fluid, trans fluid, trans fluid, 520. Wait a minute, is that, bra that is brand new. That is a brand new jug of high mileage, full synthetic, 520. And I'll bet that is probably exactly what this calls for. Oh man, 530. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there because this may be our only option for right now, guys. I, uh, well, there's 1030. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I do have some, let me see if I can. Oh, it's almost empty. <laughs> <laughs> okay well i've got a couple quarts of 1030 and i've got 520 i've got 530 there looks like we're just we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something awful i think we're just gonna put that 520 in it i don't think it's gonna hurt too awful bad it's got to be better than what's in it now let's go ahead and get it up in the air let's change this oil real quick all right looks like we've got a few torx bits they're t30s we got one here, here, and here, and here, here, and here. And I think this whole thing right here falls off. It gives me a perfect opportunity to try out my brand new Milwaukee tools. Haven't used them on anything yet, so this is the first. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that just feels smooth. Those brushless, brushless motors. Oh, very nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it, man. All right, let's get this off. Well, she's already, uh, she's already coming down, guys. Right on top of my head. All right, I'll come back as soon as we get this belly pan off. All right, guys, take a look at that oil. That is gross. I'm taking the oil filter off, even though I don't have a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and just get it off and drain it. Urgh. There she goes. Oh, it's back up. Here we go. Boy, that is gross. The date on that oil filter is 8.30 of 2019, I think. I sure hope that's a nine. Because if that's not a nine, that's like a seven or a four. I'm pretty sure that is 8.30 of 2019. That's, a, that's an awful long time <laughs> between oil changes, guys. I'll tell you something though, we got we got the uh, belly pan off and take a look up there. It actually looks really good. I've checked just about everything under here. A tad bit of, tad bit of grease or oil right there, just a little bit. It's not pouring, it's not dripping onto the belly pan or anything. It's just, you know, tad bit of oil for 115,000 miles. Not bad at all, not bad at all. The engine is completely sealed. Doesn't look like it's leaking anything either. Very nice. Let's get this oil changed guys. I can't wait to get this drain plug off. Let's see how bad the stuff coming out of that looks. I'm I'm excited, sort of, not really. All right, are we ready to see how this looks? I uh, I broke the filter. I don't know if you can see that with the light in there, but uh, right there is a hole. Um, and if I turn it sideways, it'll just gush out of it. Well, it's not anymore. But anyway, trust me, I put a hole in the filter. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out where to find a filter in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night on a Sunday. I, I don't think that's gonna happen, but we'll go ahead and get this out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it is, boy, she's hot. Ooh, yes, sir. That is, that is hot. Ow. Ah, <laughs> woo. Yeah, she's hot. Boy, that is just, guys, look at this. 
This, this is... This is just nasty. Ugh. There's not even hardly any viscosity to this. Oh, wow, that feels awful. Now, thankfully, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel any dirt or metal in it. It's just, there's like no viscosity to this at all. This feels really, really bad. That is, <laughs> that is awful. Okay, well, I guess if I gotta go find a parts store that's open, I suppose I might as well get the right oil for it. What was it, 520, 530, something like that? Yeah, we might as well. Let me see if I can find anywhere that's open. If I can, I guess we'll come back and complete this job. And if I can't, we'll have to end the video and come back and finish it when something is open. All I gotta say is thank God for <laughs> Walmart, man. Walmart is about 20 minutes away from my location. They're open till 11. It is, it is late, guys. It's late. I really was supposed to be home a long time ago. Let's see. Time, it's 11.30. It's 11.30. I was supposed to be home. We've got severe thunderstorms coming, and I'm not leaving till the job's done. I could have quit. I could have. I could have gone home and said to hell with it, but it's like, man, we're right here. Can we go ahead and knock it out? So I got a few things. Some of you are going to get me for the Fram air filter. That's all they had, man. Uh, as far as uh, oil filters, this is the best I could do. This was the best I could do. And I've had a lot of people tell me Mobile One is like no better than Fram. I, I don't know. I just, it's the best filter I could find there. Also, we got Mobile One Extended Performance 5W30. It takes 5.7 quarts. So I've got six quarts, some windshield washer fluid. And how about this? Some headlights. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and replace those headlights. Since one of them's out, might as well replace them in pairs. We'll come back at another video and we'll probably do like the spark plugs and the transmission fluid, which I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use MoTools uh, DCT transmission fluid for this. Um, believe it or not, it actually works great on these transmissions. These cars really, really love them. I am ready to get back into it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get it back up in the air. I'm going to get that filter on. We're going to put that pan on. Then we'll come up top and we'll start putting the oil back in it. Get these headlights done. And hopefully I can drive this home tonight and you guys can follow along with me to find out if it's going to make it. Yeah, sight unseen. We're going to take a sight unseen car. We don't know anything about it. We've only driven it about 10 miles. And we're going to try to drive it in the middle of the night in a thunderstorm all the way back to my house. That should be, that's not smart, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, I know better than to do this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try to pour this in with no funnel. Maybe I'll be a little careful. I'll put a, put a little rag under here, just, <laughs> just in case. I got a bad feeling about this. There we go, well, hey. How high can we go? How high can we go? Oh yeah, it's like a pro, man. This is gonna go quick. She ought to be real happy with some fresh synthetic, especially she ain't had the oil changed in uh, three years. Yeah, she ought to be real happy about some, some Mobile One. There we go, drink up, old girl. Probably, probably should have put some high mileage in her. Now that I think about it, dang, why didn't I do that? Yeah, I got extended performance instead of high mileage. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll change the oil again. I'm sure this oil is going to be pretty dirty pretty quick. All right, let me check the dipstick. And uh, I guess next we can pull out the headlights. I don't even know how to pull out the headlights. I guess we'll figure that out together. And before I forget, since she was complaining about washer fluid, I went ahead and bought her some washer fluid. I don't want her to have anything to complain about. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. Well, I did all right. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring out the bottom all over my floor. Please don't pour all over my floor. All right, I think we're good. I don't hear anything leaking out the bottom. Well, 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 look at what we got here. Boy, I'm glad I decided to put a new air filter in it. That, that looks disgusting. Does it just pop out? That's it? It just pops out. That's really all there is to it? Oh, that's gross. That's nasty. 
This looks like a K&N or maybe an off-brand of it. That thing looks, <laughs> that thing looks bad. Oh, it is a K&N. Yes, it is. K&N. Well, and I know you guys are going to be like, I can't believe you're going to toss out a K&N. I sure am. I sure am. I don't, I don't particularly care for the K&N filters, guys. So I'm going to put the Fram filter in its place. But first, I'm going to get the vacuum in. Look at this. I'm going to get the vacuum in here. I'm going to clean that mess completely out. All right, guys. I spent entirely too much time cleaning this. But take a look at it. It looks good. It was full caked, full of sand and grit. It, it just nasty, nasty stuff. Like putting a new filter in it, great. But as soon as you put the new filter in, it's gonna just suck all of that crap right back up. So uh, I think the name of the game right now is let's just do it better than it's been done in a long time, okay? Uh, I think it's gonna be very happy with some new filters. Well, that just, that just drops right on there. Just, it slides right in, very nice. All right, look at the difference between that, what I do with that old filter, and, and this thing right here. You know what I mean? And the reason why, the reason why this whole thing was full of this greasy, gritty dirt is because somebody was spraying the K&N filter with the K&N oil. It's supposed to take it out, clean it, then saturate it, let it dry before you put it in your car. Somebody was spraying that crap in here, and it just made, it made an awful mess of everything. So... Hopefully, come on, old girl. I just had this thing on. Let's see if we can get her to cooperate with us here. I'm going to do this off camera. See what I mean? Sometimes just having two hands <laughs> makes it work so much better. She's in there nice and solid. This should just fit right over the top, just like this. And she should be, come on. Uh, I, I set it, and that's what screwed up the whole thing. There we go. There we go. Little eight millimeter. We'll zip these little suckers back down. Then we can focus on the headlights. Get it, focus. We're gonna focus on the headlights. All right, for the headlights. T30. This one's, I think that's broken. Hell, I don't know. I don't think they made it that way. Anyway, T30 right here. T30 right here. Pull. Give it a little. Uh. Okay, well. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, old girl. What are you doing? I think you gotta lift, there we go. Lift this up, there we go. There we go, now she's free. You don't have to take the whole thing out if you don't want to. Uh, there is your low beam right there. The scary thing is, number one, it's missing its protective plug. There's this cover that's supposed to go over to keep moisture from getting in. Uh, it should just twist out. Let's just go ahead and disconnect it and uh oh it doesn't want to doesn't want to come out should just twist and pull no she doesn't want to come out okay well it's there's not much i can do about it i guess if if she ugh. oh there we go there we go Woo! All right, one down, <laughs> one more to go. All right, finally, I replaced both the headlights. I'm gonna throw the one that was not working away. That means the other one is most likely on its way out, but I saved the good one. You should always do that. If you've got a spare, you got one that's still kicking, throw it in your club box, man. And uh, you never know, it might keep you from getting pulled over one day. All right, are we ready? Let's fire it up. She's got fresh oil, fresh air filter, fresh oil filter, fresh headlights. And yes, I filled the oil filter with oil before <laughs> I put it on the car. And yes, I lubed the lip, the gasket. Engine oil change due. I guess we're gonna go ahead and reset that. Uh, we don't need that anymore because I have already taking care of that. I don't know where we find that at. No? No. Maybe it's somewhere in here. Maybe it's in settings. I don't know. My key. Admin key. Okay. Anyway, give me just a minute, guys. Let me see if I can... 
Let me see if I can find the oil change thing. Hopefully I can do it from here. And uh, also, we'll turn on the headlights and we'll check the... Uh, uh, did it say... Okay, I think it's good now. <laughs> I think it's good. Woo! All right, guys, she sounds good. We've got no check engine light on yet, although I am fairly certain it's going to come back on again. But for now, we don't have one. Listen to this real quick. Let me, uh, let me get you to where you can hear this blow-off valve. Hear that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a beast, man. She's a beast. And we'll take this stupid sticker right here off. Let's get that off the car. There we go. She sounds good. Seems like she's quite happy. Uh-oh. Starting to rain. Oh, my shop is a daggum mess. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? We still got to check the headlights. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Well, thankfully, we're inside of a shop. Let's do a, a quick check of the headlights, make sure they're working. And I think, other than that, I'm going to use my Altel to clear the oil change message warning. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we got headlights. Very, very nice. I love this little car, man. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away that I'm so excited about a, a little, little turbo hatchback. I would really, really be interested in getting my hands on a Focus RS. Uh, I think the more I drive this car, the more I'm really, really going to want to go grab an RS. I think I might, guys. I do. I think I might. But before I make that decision, I'm going to drive this around. I'm going to have some fun with it, feel it out a little bit, and we'll see how it does. We're going to come back. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we're going to come back, and we're going to do some spark plugs, I imagine. It wouldn't hurt to do plugs on it. I don't think that's going to hurt anything at all. In fact, she'd probably really, really like it. Um, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to clear the oil change control unit. We'll just go to service body chassis electrical no what is it hot functions i can't remember battery steering throttle oil reset there we go manual oil reset yes let's do it one more time blah blah blah, blah. turn the ignition key to the on position don't start the engine press and hold the start button for two seconds without pressing the brake pedal not attempt to start the engine press both press both accelerator and brake pedals at the same time Okay, hold on. There's a whole thing you got to do here. Service oil reset complete. All right, there's your little tidbit of information, guys. If you if you were wondering how you reset your oil minder on your Ford Focus, not just an ST, probably on the Fiesta as well, RS, STs, the regular ones as well. Um, it's pretty simple. You push and you hold your push button, start, or if you've got a key, you turn it on, but you don't start it. Just turn the ignition on. This push button, you hold it for one Mississippi to Mississippi and then you leave it and then you push the uh, the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal both at the same time and then you wait a minute a couple seconds here and it's gonna pop up ser ser reset in progress all right and then about 30 seconds later it'll be done simple as that you don't even need a scan tool for it how cool is that well guys I think we've accomplished quite a bit with the little girl today She's got washer fluid and fresh oil, and she seems really, really happy. The thunderstorm hopefully is going to hurry up and roll right on past this. I don't have a tornado shelter here, so if things get, if things get nasty, ooh, yeah. If things get nasty out here, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm SOL, man. So I guess I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit and hope that this storm just goes ahead and passes me on by. Before we get out of here, though, I will clean up my shop a little bit. Let's see what time it is. 12.30. It takes me an hour to get home, so I'll be here till uh, I'll probably be here another half hour cleaning this mess up. And, uh, yeah, I'll be home around 1.30 in the morning. That's not bad. Oh, boy. Here's the storm. Yeah. Well, that sure is nice. Uh, we, got a, we got a lot of rain coming, guys. Oh my goodness, great. 
if I can get out of here relatively quickly, I might be able to beat the worst of the weather. It looks like this is just the very beginning. Listen to that thunder. Ooh, boy. Ooh. Yeah, she's a lively one, man. She's a lively one. We got some nastiness coming our way, guys. All right. I could stand here pointing this at the sky all night. Oh, you hear that light, that thunder crackle? Ooh, man. Yeah. Oh, I love Oklahoma. I do. I, I can't lie, guys. I do love the storms. I really do. I could stand here all night and, and show you guys the weather, but that ain't going to get nothing done. I'm going to get a tag. I need to put a tag on this, I guess, and uh, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the Ford Focus ST. I've, you guys know. If you've been around for any length of time, you know I've talked about these for a long, long time now. I've wanted one for a long time, and now I got one, and I hope that you enjoyed the content that we were able to bring to you today from the little car. How much did it cost me for all those parts it was a hundred and something maybe like a hundred and ten dollars no big deal not to where i'm going to be getting that oil changed again like i said we're going to get into that transmission also and change out the fluid with some motul uh dct fluid may get in there and see how those bushings look or i may just leave them alone i i don't know it's not too sloppy but you could tell it's, it's got a little bit of mileage on her guys thank you all so much for watching the video if you enjoyed the content hit the thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button drop those comments down below and stay safe out there till next time guys i will catch you all very soon in the next one till next time stay safe ah I'm not going to redo it. Till next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one. And if you stayed till the very, very end, I'm going to do something real special for you, and I'm going to let you get a cold start of this old girl, assuming she wants to start. She doesn't get started anymore. She's been sitting down here waiting on a transmission. Now I just got to put it in. Oh. Oh. Listen to that. Look at that hood shake. She's nasty. <laughs> She's nasty. Oh man, you know what that is? You know what all that nastiness is? That's that 500 lift cam. <laughs> That's that Edelbrock 500 lift cam. Uh-oh. Oh no. No! What? Oh, the key has to be on. No? There we go. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been in this car, man forgot how she works whoo oh i'm gonna die i'm gonna die there you go there you go look <laughs> oh boy she smoked this place up real nice didn't she oh yeah yeah if you stuck around to the end you got you a little bonus look at that hearst competition new clutch pressure plate new flywheel new bell housing new transmission boy we got a lot to do see y'all next time